What's going on guys, Evolution here and welcome back to Minecraft and we are back on the Skyland series. So I've been doing a bit of playing whilst not on camera, just to collect some oak wood because obviously that's our current quest and you know I thought it would have been quite boring to obviously just record it. I'll quickly run you through the process, pretty simple, I sat at our little mob trap over there for about 5 minutes, uh, went inside full of skeletons, used the bone mill and just basically sat there chopping a lot of trees down as you can hear by the sound of my voice not too fun so anyway let's go and trade in the quest because obviously the quest was to get a stack of oak logs hopefully the prize will be very rewarding um, I would like maybe uh, some sort of food so we can start growing so like some seeds or something then again we're gonna still need water so I really don't know as well as I've got some awesome plans for the Skyden series now. Uh, one of my mates actually showed me his world, uh, Mr. Plum, and he's got a really awesome world going on. So I'm going to take a bit of inspiration from his. Anyway, so uh, for your work here is a fresh grass. Oh, okay. I don't remember him mentioning that, but there we go. So this should keep us for some time yet. Yeah, thank you, New Blood. For your work, here is a fresh grass. As promised, be careful. If you squander this, you will find it difficult to get more. If that happens, however, see our herbalist for help. In fact, I think she and the others may have work for you. Boom. <laughs> so, I'm putting that in my inventory before I use it. See, now... Okay, herbalist. Have you got any quests? Oh, I need some replacement seeds. Okay, no, we don't. I need some farming supplies. Let's speak. Help me grow crops. I want to farm coke. I need sugar. Hmm. Help me grow crops. What good is a farm that only grows one crop? I've got a whole bunch of things here you can grow. Carrots, potatoes, mushrooms. But my own wheat supplies are running low. My tummy's grumbling like the merchant when he stays up too late. Bring me some yummy fresh baked bread and I'll give you a whole bunch of crops okay what is he trading currently so we can't get any seeds off him or anything so hmm okay alright what about the hunter got any jobs for me farming help What's, uh, yeah I've got something you can do boss gave me some grass but you bet you still can't do much farming give me some zombie meat and I'll give you something that will make farming a lot easier trust me and don't ask questions Okay, so that sounds right up my street. And zombie flesh isn't too hard to get. Does he need any help? Okay, no. Don't need to learn about enchanting at the momento. Got work? Work. Hmm. Hmm, you want sand, glass, cactus, but you don't have. Hmm? I bring seed of desert. You make desert farm. Good for you. Bring me black pearl from tall man. I bring you seed of desert. Bring me... Hmm, okay then. So, we've got a few more quests. So hopefully that should keep us busy for a while. So on top of all the quests, I've got some really awesome... Was that always there? Hmm. Oh no, of course it was. Wait, was it? Now I'm confused. I swear that's like only just appeared. For a second, I'll tell you the whole reason why I stopped. I thought that was like a sand temple from here because it was all yellow. And now I've realised the Enderstone, so that was a big epic fail. Anyway, moving on. So, I've got some awesome, awesome plans for building over here. And also, we got a load of crops. A load of crops? A load of quests. So, uh, bring him some zombie flesh. For his own private reserve, I won't ask. In return, he's offering me a tool that will make farming infinitely easier. Well, I mean, we got 25, so how much does he want? Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll quickly run back and go speak to him, see if this will do. Or maybe it might be some sort of trading system. I don't know, but we're about to find out. Huh. Oh, man. We definitely do need some automated way of getting here. <laughs> I'm far too lazy for all this running. Oh, morning Fritz. Morning Hennepin. Oh, uh, who's we gonna see? The hunter, was it? Uh, yeah. I 
swear it was the hunter. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, no, it's no boss. Oh, okay, no, it wasn't. But we got a new quest now. So I think you're ready for the next step, do you? Well, haha. <laughs> There's a place of great danger, but there is no risk without reward. Hmm? I will give you something to unlock a new challenge for you. But first, you must prove yourself again. Bring me these things to show that you have learned much in your journey and that you have helped Skyden in its time of need. For this, I reward you with new opportunities. Okie dokie. Who needed the rotten flesh? Hmm? Was it you, Mr. Merchant? Nope. Was it you, Mr. Herbalist? Nope. <laughs> um right, come on, come on. Oh okay, that was extremely blonde of me. So we need thirty two rotten flesh and we need to bring him one ender pearl and five bread. Okay. Okay. Alright, I may have missed that bit of the top, but you know it doesn't hurt to get a slight better understanding of what we've got to do. See now I know off by heart five bread, one ender pearl and thirty two rotten flesh. Yeah, see I wouldn't know that if it wasn't for missing that little detail at the top so it's all good so we're only a little bit short of rotten flesh I've not got a clue how we're gonna get bread that's a new one to me uh, however the ender pearl is a different story because I think they should just spawn I think I've had an ender dragony person an ender man chilling around here before you know in the neighborhood so I'm pretty pretty optimistic about that one in the meantime, whilst we wait for some zombies to spawn, I think it's fair ooh, that we carry on expanding this space with some more cobble. Because, I mean, after all, I have got like a whole single chest full now. I've got a lot of stacks of cobble. Because obviously, we set up that automated cobblestone generator, and that's been doing us well for the past time. But yes, I've got some funky ideas, but I'm going to explain this right. So I wanted it to go underneath the base. Now that proved much difficult. I even tried using ladders and like jumping off the edge and trying to like chuck a block underneath us. I did some pretty crazy stuff off camera. I'm not going to lie. And I still yet to figure it out. However, I have had a brilliant idea and... I just got to wait till the time is right, I guess, if that's the right way to put it. Oh man, we need we need rotten flesh. We need we need it. So now I'm going to get rid of our lovely little entrance place we got here, since we're under a bit of construction. Have we got any zombies? That is the question. Oh, two creepers instead. Oh no, I can hear. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh, we got an angry zombie. Or is that a zombie villager? No, it's an angry zombie. Oh, no, it's a zombie villager. Check you out. And there we go. Is it safe? Yeah. So, we've got another free rotten flesh. Not too bad, not too bad. See all them times I ate it when I didn't need to. This quest could have been done by now if I didn't do that. How annoying. Although, we've almost got enough shard... No, we do have enough shard of miniums to make the minium stone, obviously, if we can make the inert stone, which requires four iron and one gold, which, I mean, we can get the iron ingots from drops from zombies and stuff. Uh, I'm not too sure about the gold, but if I remember rightly, it actually said not to craft one until you've got permission. So I'm pretty sure when the, when the time is right, we'll figure out how to get the resources. But, you know, it's good to know that we've got... We've got the uh, shard of minions to make it. So hopefully once we've done this layer we should have some more mobs spawned out back. Alright, let's go have a little nosy nosy peek around the corner. Oh no, we never finished it. See, I'm slacking. I'm that excited about handling this rotten flesh. 
Alright, what have we got? What have we got? Oh! Ah! That was a bit wild for a second. That indeed was a bit wild. Come on, Miss Angry Zombie. Oh! Nope, nope. Oh! Run! That's right, burn! Oh, damn. What? Where? Oh, oh, invisible Angry Zombie! Run! There was only one way to do it. It was suicide. We there's an invisible zombie around here. I couldn't let it kill me. I'm hoping the carrot's still here. Is the carrot still here? Yes. Okay. So if we just forget the part about getting slaughtered by an invisible zombie, wherever he's gone. I believe he died. What? Are you kidding me? One. One short. Sorry, one. <sighs> Angry. Oh, I forgot. I cooked some stone up. Which is always good. Because you never know when you might need some trustworthy stone. Uh, let's use these saplings also. And I'll show you something quite cool we can do with this. Oh, oh. Right, here we go. So you get your three saplings and apply bone mill or not does trays and then you get your trustworthy axe and boom. Oh, hold on. You can't do it whilst crouching. My apologies. Now it should work. Boom. It actually destroys all the trees. As long as they're like connected via some way. It actually destroys all of them. Pretty funky stuff, huh? Yeah. Alright, who we got in here? Yay, we're on flesh. Right, back to the sky den. Alright, that means we've even got one rotten flesh just for ourselves. How nice. I mean, who wants some rotten flesh anyway? <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be cr pretty crazy. Is the old boss secretly a vampire? Hmm. I wonder. Dun, 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 oh wait, no, it wasn't no boss, was it? Who was it? Was it you? Yeah, that's right. All right, this is just what I want. Thanks for a bunch of my new blood. I'm a man of my words. Here's a bucket to help you get started. All right, can I just say, I'm not going to read onwards, but I hope that's filled with water. Okay, right, where was we? Uh, starting from... Oh, there's a spring out behind the den. Feel free to grab some fresh water from it. And here's a tip. You can use waterfalls to build downwards. Could be useful for your farming, right? That is... Yes, I could say that's rather useful. That is awesome. See, now, I could just imagine, kind of, them giving us a bucket of water that was completely empty. And then, of course, there happened to be the spring out back, which is kind of kind of lucky I guess so I guess the best thing to do now is probably make an infinite water supply because running back and forth wouldn't be fun so yeah look that place looks so different like the place to I write I'm gonna fall off if I try and do it but it looks different like running from this angle I'm not used to it damn it there we go Right, so, we've got a lot to get accomplished today. In fact, tomorrow, because it's getting dark and the creepy creepers come out. Right, we just got to go get one more bucket. And then we will be done with the water. Because then we'll just be able to use it from the house. Easy. Easy peasy. So, I guess it's probably best we start wrapping this episode up here before we carry on for much longer but just give you guys a quick brief introduction to what we'll be doing in the next episode or episodes because it's probably going to be a few episode project um, I want to obviously get the farm underway because we've got a carrot now and we can grow that which is awesome we're gonna have our first carrot uh, we've got a grass block and we've got water so we can get the farm underway 
and obviously with this water we can now use it to build downwards I'm not sure how well it's gonna go because I can just quite easily picture me just falling off the water stream and dying but we'll find out won't we so anyway guys thanks for watching and if you're enjoying the series so far or you enjoyed this episode especially be sure to drop a like and if you've got any feedback you want to leave me drop a comment below and if you want to see more Skyden of course don't forget to subscribe anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one